wife kept joking about divorce and had called me a roommate. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. My wife, 34F, admitted to infidelity. We have a 3-year-old son who is autistic. I'm, 37M, very overwhelmed by it all. Our relationship has been strained lately with her working nights and our working days. Because our son has special needs, a standard babysitter, childcare isn't possible and specialized care isn't available or financially feasible. He has a few hours a week at school in a therapy setting, otherwise he is with one of us. Because of the schedules, we have been the ships passing in the night. Most days we get 10 minutes to see each other. Not a perfect situation and it's something I wanted to fix. I've been sleeping in the guest room so that she can decompress and get some quality sleep alone. It was not something I wanted to do, but for her benefit, I thought it would help her sleeplessness. Our sex life has been non-existent for a long time. In the past few months, when we have talked, she would mention things like we should try an open relationship because I don't like sex anymore and you should be free to explore and getting married has screwed up our finances, we should get an on-paper divorce. I never took her that seriously because she said them in such a joking tone. Lately, she had mentioned that she feels like we're great roommates. She has also wanted to go out with her friends more often on her nights off. I'm not the type for that, so I stay home with our son. Admittedly, a special needs child can be very difficult. Her having a night off was completely understandable. Fast forward to two weeks ago, I asked to sit down with her and to talk about our relationship. She agreed to talk the next day and I actually sent her an email of questions I had on my mind. Questions like how would you describe our relationship? And don't you want to share a bed with me anymore? And most importantly, have you had sex outside of our marriage? We sat down after our son was in bed and had the talk. We talked for a few minutes about what she thought of our relationship. She said she doesn't see us as a couple anymore. She started to cry. Then she said, you asked if I've had sex with anyone else. The answer is yes. It immediately hit me like a ton of bricks. I had asked the question more out of peace of mind for me rather than a confirmation. I had suspicions before but I thought they were all in my head. We talked for two hours. I said very little and tried to keep my anger in check. But here's what was revealed. She did not want to talk about the details of the other relationship with me. I said it doesn't matter. She admitted to it happening more than once. And it was premeditated. She had gone out with my blessing to hang out with friends knowing that she was going to cheat. The affair is not still going on but she was still talking to the person. She wasn't necessarily interested in a romantic or sexual relationship outside of our marriage right now but she's open to anything. She didn't realize until recently that she's probably not really into the whole monogamy thing. As for our relationship, we're done and she wanted me out of the bedroom completely. She wants to remain in the house to co-parent not just because we have two, but because she wants to. She even added, you're a great dad and that part of you I still really care about. She kept saying we don't have to make any decisions right now and I know it's a lot. Also, I don't hate you. I still care about you. And I'm sure you hate me. Since then, I've moved upstairs. I've initiated a separation of our finances and healthcare. That conversation resulted in her crying and saying this is a lot right now. But she has relented. She's also said that she's depressed and mourning losing her best friend and retreats to her room frequently. I've mentioned the divorce her moving out, and selling the house. All of which are returned with vague warnings of expenses and difficulty. And disrupting our son. Conversations with my friends say she's gaslighting me or manipulating the situation so that she gets to have her cake and eat it too. I have come to believe that having her move out may be difficult for our son but it's what is best for my mental health and that's ultimately what is best for my son. But I have no idea how to make it happen. I feel so lost and broken. Just typing this up has taken a few days because I can't get through it all. All I think about is how I wanted to fix our relationship and how she put someone else above spending time with us. She used my dependability as a father for her selfish reasons. Then I think about being kind to her so that she can stay in our child's life. He will need both of us. It's sadness, then pain, then anger, then a few minutes of numbness before it starts again. Uck. Merry Christmas to me. Update. As I said before, some of the nights out were explained as work-related social events. Or with friends from work that I don't know. 
Obviously now I can't trust that info very much. I am sure that one of the nights she cheated. It was described as a mom's night off where I took my son to play at an indoor playground so she could get ready then take an Uber out to a bar. Brutal when I realized that one. But I do know some of her friends. One of those friends is actually a female friend of mine from before the relationship. Let's call her Fran. Fran has not been in contact with my wife but I've told her the situation and she's been helping me very kindly. I haven't asked her to verify any alibis. I also learned through Fran that my wife had told another mutual friend that AP has a GF. The GF knows about the affair, and AP is trying to repair that relationship. I don't know where that leaves my wife or even how much I can trust the fourth-hand info. She has apologized indirectly. She said I'm sorry that I hurt you but she also explicitly does not regret that she cheated. This week she works most days but we are going to try to have a normal Christmas Eve and day. Then I'm taking my son to see my family this weekend. I'll tell them what's going on then. She has told her mom that we are not together and that she cheated. Her mom is sad about the situation. In talking about her moving out, she refuses to leave until we sell the house, or I buy it back alone. And she gets her share of the equity. She said that's fair if you're going to kick me out. Also, she said that if I try to stop her from seeing our child, she will fight it. Those are the only two things she has been forceful or antagonistic about. She said she's open to seeing a divorce attorney or mediator whenever I want. I realize reading the above I may have made her out to be more manipulative and cold-hearted than she may be. But the facts are correct so judge us as you will. Here is the second story. Maybe it was understandable since I was the first and only man in her life. But no. I have been with my wife for seven years and married for three. I recently just found out that she cheated on me. She said it started before we were married in August, we got married in September, and continued until April of next year. She said it was like a weekly thing and more than once or twice a month. Bad thing is in March, I left on a business trip and she added another guy into the mix. He was also cut off in April and I came back in May. She told me the other guy was because she felt lonely and the first guy was because he was attractive. Take into account I was her only boyfriend and her first dating back to high school so I was the only person she experienced a relationship with. However, once I got back in May I noticed that she acted differently so I asked her if she was cheating on me. She said no. She continued to hide the lie for two years then finally told me because she felt guilty and she needed to get this off her chest. She said she wants a relationship with no secrets and she wants to go to counseling and is considerably sorry. At this point I just don't know anymore. She has been really honest with me so far and for the past two years have been fine but she hasn't had those temptations like before. Right now I'm suffering from anxiety and even had to go to the hospital because my heart rate hit 170 just standing around. I really want to work it out but like they say a cheater is always a cheater. Here is the third story. She admitted to cheating because she thought I was cheating. I don't know if I'm overreacting, because I'm sure I am. My wife and I have been together for 9 years and I found out last year that she cheated after us being together for a year. And then she went and stayed all night with an ex after we were together for 2 years. I always knew that she cheated that night and she claimed ever since then that she didn't. Until she admitted yesterday that she did. This was only brought out after she started accusing me of cheating, which I'm not and never have. I know that she has been faithful ever since then, but I think it's the lying part that bothers me. She lied for 7 plus years and even swore on my life that she never did cheat. It's got me questioning anything she has ever told me and that might be me overreacting. We have a 2 year son and I know it's not healthy to fight around him, but I can't help but look at her differently. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.